Severe aortic stenosis occurs in 4 per 10,000 live births. Aortic stenosis can occur at the level of the valve, below the valve, or above the valve. Severe aortic stenosis may be associated with a normal, dilated, or small left ventricle. Depending on when in gestation, the lesion is identified with prenatal ultrasound. In more severe forms, secondary endocardial fibrolastosis may occur, leading to thickening of the endocardium. This may lead to mitral insufficiency and or cardiomyopathy with a poorly contracting left ventricle. The aortic stenosis diagnosed early in pregnancy may evolve into the hypoplastic left heart syndrome. This is an example of severe aortic stenosis resulting in endocardial fibrolastosis. Endocardial fibrolastosis may not be obvious from the still frame image. A cine of the contracting heart reveals this pathology more clearly. For this reason, the examiner reviewing images of the fetal heart should consider reviewing cine clips and not just still images. Color Doppler demonstrates abnormal flow with aliasing distal to the aortic valve and significant mitral regurgitation as a result of increased pressure resulting from aortic stenosis. As a result of increased left atrial pressure from mitral regurgitation secondary to severe aortic stenosis, blood can be observed flowing from the left to the right atrium. This cine clip illustrates the dilated left ventricle that is poorly contractile. Notice the bright endocardium lining the left ventricle. This is endocardial fibroelastosis resulting from ischemia of the endocardium. The abnormal aortic valvular annulus is also identified in this view. When the color Doppler is activated, notice the changes described in the previous slides that include abnormal flow distal to the aortic valve, significant mitral regurgitation, and flow from the left to the right atrium.